Welcome back to Retro Tech Toys. We're gonna look at this subscription box today. This is a video game subscription box, similar to Retro Game Treasure, but it is called Video Games Monthly. So we'll have a look at that. As soon as we come back, let's get started. Okay, we're back. Video Games Monthly, in case you didn't know, it's a little bit like Retro Game Treasure, which we did a video on recently, and I do not recommend. This one is like that, in that you can get three games, four games, five games, they even have a ten game a month subscription box. I got the five, and I've not opened this yet. I wanted to wait and do it with you guys, so let's go ahead and have a look at that. Now, it is a little bit different from Retro Game Treasure, in that Retro Game Treasure allows you to pick all the genres you like and all that stuff. And this one just lets you pick game systems that you want to collect for, and it'll let you fill in what you already have, and that's it. No wish lists, no anything, it's random. But they promise not to send duplicates, they promise that everything works, and they promise to only send games for the systems that you're collecting for. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I got the five game subscription, and uh, there was a little bit of an issue where I accidentally clicked pay twice, so I might have a second box coming. And if I do have a second box coming, I will do a second video to show you what that one was like as well. I've contacted them about it. They've been really cool. They're not sure if it's already been packed up yet, but if it has been, I told them just go ahead and send the second box. I'm not going to complain. That's just more games for me. But uh, if that comes, like I said, I'll do a second video. So for now, until I know more about that, let's just consider this the subscription box and let's open it up and see what we've got. So here's the subscription box and it says Video Games Monthly on it. It's got a little cool 8-bit dude here. And on this side it says Play the Past into the Future. And uh, it's pretty heavy. It feels like it's bursting full of games. Now I'm supposed to have five games. I'm going to open it like this so that I can't see what I have because I want to be surprised. All right, so I'm feeling around in here, and well, that's cool. They like to throw in a couple of extras here and there, apparently, so there's a little level-up bracelet. And that's a nice little touch. I mean, I probably won't wear it, but that's a pretty cool little touch. So let's see. We've got two cards here. We've got a one-up, which means that we get extra games. Now, if they send you more games than you subscribed for, they'll tell you in this card here. So it'd be like a one up, a two up, or a three up. We got a one up. So instead of five games, we've got six. That's cool. And right here, it's just talking about if you share it to your social media, you can win a free box. They pick a free winner every month and you can win three games. And this is just explaining to update your account within seven days of the next box shipping so they don't send you duplicates very cool all right let's feel in here i want to see what we've got just so you know i'm subscribed for famicom and nintendo nes so let's see what we've got and let's see how well they did all right what is it indiana jones in the temple of doom i don't have it it's not a duplicate so like retro game treasure sent me super mario brothers and i mean pretty much everyone has super mario brothers yeah, it was a duplicate. I already had one, uh, so no duplicates yet. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I'll put the price up here that it's worth. And it feels like all these are loose games, so I'll put the loose price up here so you know how much these are worth. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I don't have it. I've never played it. I'm pretty curious. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Jordan vs. Bird, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's a sports game, uh, so it looks like they do throw random sports games in there. I'm sure this is probably only worth a dollar or two. I'll put it up here. I don't mind it, though, because it's not a duplicate, and so far it's the only sports game that's in the box. And uh, if I was going to get a sports game, I'd like it to be basketball, and this is. As a lot of you know, Double Dribble is one of my favorite games ever for the NES, so this might be a welcome addition. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Feel around in here. I don't know what this is. Double Dragon 2. So I don't have it. And this is one that I would like to have in my collection. So I, I'm happy. Again, we don't have a duplicate. So they are doing much better than Retro Game Treasure. 
Uh, it's not some game like Top Gun, and it's not some random double that they shouldn't have sent me, and it's for the correct system that I'm collecting for. So far, I consider this box a win. Let's feel around in here a little bit. Oh, wow. Faxanadu is the fourth game that I've got. Okay, I've been wanting this one, and I know it's not super expensive, but this is one that I've wanted, and the game store that I buy from locally has not had this in stock yet. This is one of my favorite Nintendo games, and I don't have it currently, but I guess I do now. So that's a really, really good addition. It's nice that these people seem to care about what they're putting in your box. This is a cool addition. Really excited about this. I was actually hoping that this would be in the box, but I didn't expect it. I didn't expect them to put anything that super cool with like a side-scrolling and RPG element, but here it is. Faxanadu. Okay, we've got two more games. So like I said, uh, they put a one-up in here, which means we have an extra game. Uh, it feels like I've got two Famicom games. Let's pull out the first one. I have no idea what this is. I like the cartridge. It's green. And I like the graphic on the front. But I do not read Japanese. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I'm, I've got an adapter to test this out. It plugs into my Retron. So I'm really excited to play it. I've been wanting some Famicom games. And I'm really glad they threw a couple of these in. So I consider this a win. If I can figure out what this is, I will post the price. Okay, it's another one that I don't know because I don't read Japanese. Uh, let's see here. There's uh, looks like there's a little ninja guy on the front. And the game cartridge itself is really beat up. It's got some dings and some dents. And it looks like somebody tried to pry it open right there. Uh, that None of that bothers me too much as long as it plays. Uh, there's some Japanese characters here on the front that are written on there in Sharpie. I, I might not even clean those off. Because it looks pretty cool. But uh, if I do decide to, I'm sure a little isopropyl alcohol will take care of that. I don't know what this is. If I can figure it out, I'll put it up here. If you can figure out what it is, let me know in the comments below. So that's what we've got here. We got our six games with Video Games Monthly. I'm really impressed. They threw in a little extra, like a little bracelet. And I like their packaging. I like that they seem to care about what they're putting into your box. They're not just throwing in random garbage. I do recommend this service so far, and if I get that second box, we'll do another video and we'll see how well they did on that one. I'm really curious. And uh, that's it. I'm really, really, really pleased with this box. Before I go, I just want to let you know that Retro Tech Toys is sponsored in part by PCB Way. We've got some PCBs on the way from them. And they're pretty cool. I will show you exactly what they do. And we'll have a video coming up with some of their products really soon. Check them out. I'll have a link below if you want to get some PCBs made for any of your projects. Thank you so much for watching Retro Tech Toys. As always, be safe. We'll see you next time.